means that the magnification, which is I over O, so I'm given the magnification. And what is the magnification? I'm told that the image, first of all, is five times larger than the object. So the magnification is five, but I'm told that it's what inverted, so it's minus five. It's minus five. That's the magnification. The fact that it's inverted means minus, and it's five times larger. Now, the magnification is, of course, minus Q over P. So I have minus Q over P is minus five. So this tells me that Q is five P. So this information that the image is inverted and it's five times larger than the object translates into Q equals 5P. We also thought that the distance between the object and the image is 80 centimeters. Now we have to understand for the concave mirror First of all, where is the object located? This is the focus. This is C. For the concave mirror, if the object is here, it's, if it's after, if it's like beyond C, where is the image? Notice, if it's beyond C, anywhere beyond C, it's the same thing. Look what happens. You draw a ray parallel to the principal axis. This ray must go through the focus, reflects through the focus. And then you have to draw a ray through C, and it comes back on itself. And so the image is here. And notice, it's always between C and F. Always. Because you get one ray going through F and the other ray going through C. So where, where will these two rays meet? Somewhere between C and F. So if the object is beyond C, that is, if P is larger than R, than the radius, or which is 2f. Then q, that is p is larger than 2f. Then q is always between f and 2f. q is between, this is q is from here to there. f, and that's 2f. And the image is always somewhere here. And so q will always be less than p because P is larger than 2F, and Q is less than 2F. So the magnification here, which is minus Q over P, will always be, that is, the image will always be smaller in size than the object. And Q will be less than P. Now here I have Q equals 5P. So is this situation, is this situation I have? No. It means this is not the situation. Now, all right, so, so it's not beyond C. Where could it be? I'll draw the other wrong case, and then I, I will draw the correct case. What is the other wrong case? So I'll skip over the correct case. So this is C, F, because the natural thing is to put the object now between C and F. But let's put it here, between F and the center. We have seen this already on the previous slide. What happens in this case? The image is virtual. These two rays don't meet. And they seem to come from some place here. So in this case, we get a virtual image. So if P is less than F, 
we'll get a virtual image. Again, that's not what we have. Because the image and the virtual image, don't know this, is always what? Upright. It's not inverted. So again, since here the image is inverted, so it can't be this. So there's only one case left, which is when the object is between C and F. That's the case that will end up with an inverted image, which is larger in size than the object. So this is a right situation then. Here's C. F, and it's when the object is between C and F. Now, then we get a line array through C. It hits the mirror and reflects back. And they meet somewhere here. I can also take a ray through F, and it reflects parallel to the principal axis. It should also meet them here. So this is the image. As you see, they are real. They are rays that are actually meeting at a point. So the rays leaving the mirror are converging. They converge to this point. So that's a real image, and it is what inverted. And you see it's bigger than the object in size. So, so it's like minus 5. All right, that makes sense. So this is 5 times bigger than this, let's say, and it's inverted. So this is the situation that we have. So the situation that we have is that P must be between C and F, for sure. And Q is somewhere here. And Q is 5P. So now we're told that the distance between the object and the image is 80 centimeters. So I know that this is 80 centimeters. But this distance between the object and the image is just Q minus P. As you see, that's the distance. It's the distance of the image to the mirror Q minus the object distance P. And that would be the distance between the object and the image. So uh, I also know that Q minus P is equal to 80 centimeters. And I know that Q is 5P. So I get 5P minus P 80. So 4P is 80 centimeters. This means that P is 20 centimeters. So P is 20 centimeters. And Q is 5P, so Q is 100 centimeters. So what is the focal length F? I have 1 over F is 1 over P plus 1 over Q. So it's 1 over 20 plus 1 over 100, which is 100 here, 5 plus 1 is 6. So F is... 6 is 100. 1 over F is 6 over 100. So F is 100 over 6 centimeters, which is 16.67 centimeters.